I'm putting this video out because I realize that some people don't know what all is going on uh, with me and, you know, just the things around me at the moment. Um, I was, it was mentioned to me that uh, by Brutal Bob that he didn't know anything about what was happening. And to be fair, I'm not sure that it's really, uh, for a lot of folks, it won't mean anything. Uh, for me, it's, you know, some things that are kind of important. Um, just anyhow, I thought I would mention them. Um, I guess it's a little bit of a story. Uh, Tammy and I had planned on going to the Gulf Coast Homesteaders meetup, and we went to it. Um, that was this past uh, Friday and Saturday. And Lula Bell had been, well, maybe I should back up a little bit. No, I'm going to just keep going. Lula Bell had been, you know, acting a little bit run down, wasn't eating much. Um, in fact, uh, she was feeling, you know, pretty poorly, you could tell. But, you know, with my niece to come over and feed the dogs and what have you. Now, of course, it's normal whenever we go somewhere. Of course, we hadn't gone at that point. But normally when we go somewhere, a lot of times the dogs don't eat, you know, real well. Uh, or they're not as anxious to, to eat. And so, um, anyhow, we went to the meetup. We met some great people. Um, it was nice to meet some folks in person that uh, we had um, seen their videos and, and talked with and what have you. And, uh, you know, we were there uh, Friday and Saturday, and we stayed for Saturday night. And when we got up on Sunday, uh, come to find out my father had been having some chest pains. And so they took him to the hospital. He was having issues with his heart. Um, we, we left there on Sunday, we came back, uh, got to Hattiesburg, Mississippi, which is where my father was in the hospital. And, uh, you know, they had this CPAP thing on his face and, you know, he was trouble, having trouble keeping his O2 stats, his oxygen level up. Um, anyhow, so, uh, we stopped by there for a while and, and saw some, there was other family members there. And uh, then we came on to, to the house. And, uh, you know, Lula Bell had not really moved in a while. She just was just laying there. Um, she wasn't uh, doing anything. In fact, when we got there, I, she did get up because, you know, it took her a little while, though, to come up and let it, you know, and say hello to, to, to greet us, which was highly unusual for Lula Bell. She's usually right there at the door, just waiting, jumping, waiting for us to get in. Uh, Lula Bell, we've had for about nine years. Um, we've had Otis for about 11 years. And Lula Bell and Otis, just thick as thieves, you know, now, every now and then, you know, one of them, Otis might need a little personal space or he'd go back in the bedroom. A little bit pretty much hang out here in, in my room. She's, uh, she was very special to me. She would hop up in my lap and uh, she was uh, always there with me. Uh, in fact, if you've seen, seen some of my videos, you've seen, you know, how she's just kind of underfoot. She just loved being with me. I love being with her, too. Um, anyhow, so, uh, you know, I was very concerned because, you know, she wasn't acting normal. She was very lethargic. Um, and so anyhow, uh, we made it a point, I, you know, me and Tammy, we're going to take little bell to our vet the next day, but our vet was not, was not available. He had had to have surgery on his arm. And so that veterinarian was not available. And we called another uh, 
vet's office and they didn't have enough room. Um, they were full up and then we had to take her to a third one. Um, now we had taken little bell a month before to the vet, our vet. And well, uh, they seemed to feel like, you know, she was okay. Just, you know, when she decided to eat properly, cause she was, you know, for a while she kind of slowed down on her eating. We were concerned about it. I started adding, you know, our vet felt like she was a little, uh, maybe dehydrated. And so I would add food to, uh, little bell's food that we were feeding her and do everything I could just to make sure, you know, she had, she got rehydrated. We even bought her, you know, the, the moist dog food instead of the dry dog food that they typically ate. Anyhow, um, so we got back and we took her to this, you know, this vet. And the vet, vet wanted to do some, uh, run some tests, take an x-ray, uh, check the blood. Um, and I was thankful for that. Um, they were obviously paying, you know, a pretty good bit of attention. When we brought her in, she just wasn't moving. I mean, she, she might look, look up a little bit, but most of the time she had her head down. Um, in the meantime, I still had daddy going on in the hospital. Um, they, they ended up putting a, a stint in his heart, um, where he had a, I think it was a quadruple bypass about 20 years ago. And there was an issue with, with, uh, one of the, one of the bypass parts. And so they ended up putting a stint in his heart. Uh, where that one of the transplants was. And, uh, well, and we, you know, I went down for that. And anyhow, so this was like, I, I don't know, it all gets kind of jumbled up in my head. But we took, we ended up taking a little bell to the vet. Uh, once they looked at her, you know, she had kidney stones. And once we looked at her uh, uh, blood work, found out that she, her kidneys had failed. Um, everything, all the readings, from what I understand, were off the charts. Um, found out that there just there just wasn't anything they could do for Luna Bell. So we f faced a very difficult choice, and uh, well. I'm, I'm ashamed to say. We had to put her down. I had to let her, had to have the doc put her down. Anyhow, um, and uh, that's, you know, the lack, not having Lula Bell around is, uh, well, it's not just affected me. We got a new puppy by the name of Bella, and uh, Little Bell was had been played. You know that was uh, you could say Little Bell was kind of the glue between Otis and uh, Bella because Little Bell uh, would play with Bella, and she would also she was also you know Otis's home skillet. Is you know they were you know all they were together most of the time you know. She'd clean Otis and, and look out for him. She let him eat first. And, and um, sometimes she wouldn't eat a whole lot of her food and she'd let you know, him finish it off. Anyhow, um, but now, you know, Otis is just kind of looking around like he don't know what to do. And Bella uh, has, well, she's had to go through and, and play with her, you know, play by herself. Um, you can tell she misses her. Anyhow, um, then yesterday, uh, I don't even, I think it was yesterday. They, they, uh, we ended up, my, my father had a stent put in his heart, not a stent. Um, at this point they waited a day after the stent got put in and then, then they put in a pacemaker, um, into my father's heart. Um, 
and even with that, his you know, he still had to have this CPAP thing going on. Anyhow, um, when he'd take it off to eat and what have you, you know, his O2 stats would go down. Um, but he was, you know, he's he's starting to feel better. And uh, in a couple of days, they were supposed to let him, you know, let him go home. Um, and uh, anyhow, we just kind of left. We went from a, a real high point this year to a real low point. And this too shall pass for everything there is a season. Um, I am I'm very blessed by all the, the sympathies and the prayers and the uh, condolences that I've you know received on here. Um, and I guess you could say I picked out this this background because it's a picture of right before the dawn. It's always darkest. Right before the dawn. Anyhow, um, hey, I'm not trying to, uh, I'm not trying to gain any sympathy. And truthfully, I need to. I, I'm. I stay pretty busy most of the time. Anyhow, um, whether it's you know trying to make videos or answer comments, uh, comments sometimes take. You know, I try to shout out all the folks that make, you know, uh, comments on my videos or my posts, um, seems only right. In fact, sometimes it seems, you know, you know, if you have, uh, just somebody's link put on there, it seems so inadequate to say thank you for the folks that support, you know, this channel. Um, but I, I, there's so many wonderful people that are around this, that are around this channel. Um, and I am blessed. I'm truly blessed, but, um, it's just kind of a dark, you know, dark spot with, uh, dealing with the loss of Lula Bell, trying to get used to a, a new normal. I don't think it'll be normal for some time. Um, anyhow, um, there's some good points. Like I said, my daddy's doing well. Um, but I'm still going to have to deal with the loss for some time. Um, it's not normal. This is a new normal. But I'm sorry, I've grown on long enough. I just wanted to make y'all aware of what was going on. And uh, I, I'm trying to keep up with everything. Um, but if I'm a little slow in, uh, if I'm a little slow in responding, saying thank you for your comments, or uh, whatever. Oh, and I had to put out, you know, video. I tried to make something, uh, a video, like four times. It just never worked out. I had to do that late and uh, was rushed on that. It's just a little overwhelming at, at the moment. Um, I'm doing my best. Be patient with me. Thank you for your time. Appreciate you watching. Y'all have a blessed day.